thinking about the sign that the form for no more CPR, but we say no because he's fighting. Real people, real stories. This is Life on the Line. And it was hard for us because, you know, it's hard to anybody. Because we don't know if he can survive. He is right on the edge. I don't know how I explain how we feel. I feel my heart like a stab and I feel devastated when the alarm began to make the noisy and the, everybody's running. You know exactly what happened. David Escarcega was born with congenital heart disease and now he's desperate for a new heart. Because of a shortage of donors this year, he's undergoing an eighth emergency surgery just to keep him alive but during his surgery, his heart stops beating. I, I don't think in nothing. I want to just fall in my, the floor in the middle of everybody looking at me. I don't care, I just cry and cry and tell my husband, my baby, my baby is there. I make a lot of questions to God. We're thinking about the sign that the form for no more CPR, but we say no because he's fighting. Dr. Bailey and the Loma Linda Heart Team saved David's life for now. But it becomes clear that David is on a heart transplant list that may be longer than his life. As the next couple of days go by, we'll gradually decrease the amount of assistance and uh, let the heart take over on its own. That's what's ahead now for this baby in the next three, four days. They don't know exactly why. They have only a few donors. And we feel more stressed when they tell, they say, oh, we don't want to scare you, but it's, we need to tell you the truth. The doctor Bailey say they don't have a lot of options because uh, he became with arrhythmias. They say it's the beginning of the end. The operation is a temporary solution to a permanent problem. Unless David receives a new heart soon, he will die.